Hello friends, welcome to Insights ICANN Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the successful launch of Aditya L1 mission. You know that this is the first dedicated mission related to the sun. Before we discuss details about this video, as usually, first we will discuss about the syllabus mapping, then we will go through the video components. Later in this video, very interesting points such as what are laggage points and why we are calling them as laggage points, how many laggage points are there and what are the advantages of laggage points and what are the various solar missions from different countries and we are going to discuss about what is the meaning of sunspot and you know like solar wind these are the details also we are going to cover in this video first without any delay let's see the syllabus mapping this particular topic is related to gender studies paper 3 that is science and technology topic then in terms of the video components in this video, we are going to discuss about why this is in news. That is Aditya L1 mission. Why it is in news? It is in news because the successful launch of the Aditya L1 mission today, September 2nd. Then we'll discuss about this mission consists of. Then what are some of the important features and solar activities related to the sun? Then we'll discuss about what are the objectives and what are the payloads. Then we'll discuss about laggage points. After then, we are going to discuss about various international missions in related to sun. So these are the components we are going to cover for the next few minutes. Next, first before with this and we are going to discuss about one more thing that is you know like as these are some of the recent developments regarding the ISRO. If we come from this in 1975 the first Indian satellite Aryabhatta was launched then 1983 INSAT Indian National Satellite System, then 2008 Chandrayaan 1, important ones, okay, 2014 Mangalyaan, okay, Mars Arbitron mission, then 2017 Polar Satellite Launching Vehicle PSLV. The speciality of about this launch was with this launch around 104 satellites from other countries we launched. It is one of the jumbo launch. Then Chandrayaan 2. Of course, it was failed and it was succeeded with Chandrayaan 3. Now we are discussing about Aditya L1 done in 2024 next year. You can expect the NASA ISRO SAR satellite that is about the NISAR 2024. Shedix, it is a twin spacecraft mission. Then 2024 Mangalyaan 2, 2024 Gaganyaan and 2031 Shukrayaan 1. These are some of the upcoming projects of the ISRO. Now here one question to you students. Regarding the Gaganyaan, which country is training the Indian astronauts? You know that Gaganyaan is all about sending Indians to the surface of the moon. In this aspect, tell me which country is training Indians regarding the Gaganyaan mission. Next. Of course, this, you know, like this Aditya L1 is all about observing the sun and Mars Arbita mission to observe the Mars and Shukrayan is about the Venus solar system. Then we'll discuss about the details. Aditya L1. This is the launch of the ISRO and it is the dedicated dedicated mission towards the observation of the sun. And it was the successful launch. Regarding this launch, the further details let me explain, you know, like which launching vehicle we used and you know, so when it was launched, from where it was launched and all these details, here you can get it. The name of the mission is Aditya L1 to study the gases pattern which are emitting from the sun and the coronal heating. I will explain what is the corona and what is the chromosphere, photosphere, sunspot. These are the various things present on the sun's, sun surface, solar winds. So, so to observe these, to study these, Aditya L1 was launched. Launched by ISRO, launch vehicle PSLV, XL, type of the mission, solar mission, launch date today. In the morning it was launched. The mission budget is about 400 crores. The landing site, laggage point. You know, students, the speciality of laggage point is the gravitational pull of the earth as well as the sun, they, are, they will be neutralized. That means if any object is present in these laggage points, that object will be there constantly. That object, either I mean, it won't move towards the earth nor towards the sun. I will show in the graphic, graphics in these laggage points. So first try to understand some basic elements of the sun. The core of the sun, the central part of the sun, same like earth, we call it as core. Then sun surrounded by the radiative zone. Then radiative zone is surrounded by the convective zone. 
and after the convective zone we you can observe here you know like photosphere and in this photosphere followed with the you know like photosphere followed with the chromosphere okay this is the photosphere and photosphere after this this is the chromosphere here the sunspot sunspot are the places where the magnetic field concentration we can observe and the sunspots are present in the chromosphere from sun surface very regularly very regularly we can observe vast eruptions of plasma as well as magnetic fields these are known as coronal mass ejection cme and solar wind also we can observe from the sun so these are the basic components we have to understand especially we are reading so something related to sun in this context that is aditya l1 mission let's see further things sun spot like i said earlier these are the dark areas which are due to the intense magnetic activity and these are cooler areas compared to the surrounding areas of the chromosphere solar flares these are the intense energy bursts and they are caused due to the release of the magnetic energy from the sun atmosphere and even sometimes they can impact the earth's magnetic field also even our satellite communication also will be affected that aspect also will be studied by the aditya l1 next coronal mass ejection like i said earlier huge amount of the plasma and magnetic fields it emits from the sun surface very regularly that is nothing but coronal mass ejection and solar wind it is about the constant stream of the charged particles emitted from the sun all these are the various features of the sun and these are going to be studied by the aditya l1 and what is the influence of sun on earth obviously sun is the source of energy to the earth and with that energy only photosynthesis you know that photosynthesis is a basic reaction basic energy reaction which required for the survival of the animals from photosynthesis we will get the carbohydrates and from that carbohydrates when the carbohydrates get oxidized in the mitochondria we'll get the energy which is stored in the form of atp and you know that every so aspect of that particular thing next space weather the solar winds and solar this coronal mass ejection they are going to affect the the space weather especially the magnetic field of the earth as well as earth's communication satellite system also will be affected next what are the objectives of the aditya l1 objectives of aditya l1 are it will study the sun's corona sun's photosphere chromosphere and the coronal mass ejections and solar winds all these aspects will be studied with the help of aditya l1 and of course it is also going to you know like it is also going to be launched at l1 orbit almost all it is 1.5 million kilos kilometers away from million kilometers away from the earth so that it can observe the sun continuously these are the payloads okay vlc solar ultraviolet imaging telescope in mcq point of view it is very important these payloads so solar low energy x ray spectrometer and aditya solar wind particles wind particles okay and plasma analyzer so these are some of the important payloads the principal core payload is the vlc next why do we need this why do we need to study the sun obviously sun is one of the closest star to the earth and of course sun is the source of all the energy which we are receiving apart from that like i said earlier sun in some way it will affect the earth's magnetic fields and uh, you know like so space you know like space environment also affected by the sun here l1 lagrange point where we are there we are launching how many lagrange points are there five lagrange points are there we are launching the aditya at this l1 point lagrange points are nothing but the attraction for the gravitation force of the sun will be neutralized by the earth for example if you keep any object any object somewhere around here it will be attracted towards the earth i mean sun it will if you keep somewhere around beyond this l2 then it will be thrown into the space so these are the carefully calculated points lagrange points where an object will be stable or uniformly it present and it will facilitate the observation of the sun very regularly in this animation you can observe this lagrange points next this lagrange points are the ones like i explained the gravitational you know like forces of the sun as well as the earth they are going to be neutralized next applications of lagrange points by using a lagrange point what kind of information we can get obviously by using the lag lagrange point you can observe the space observation and communication relays so it is, might be scientists are exploring that 
these L4 and L5 points, in, they are the potential points for the communication satellites also. That is also in the exploration. And we can explore various asteroids in the space also by using these laggage points. Next, significance of the VELC payload. The VELC payload is all about what this payload will do. This payload will precisely, precisely, it study the sun's atmosphere and how this sun atmosphere is going to affect the you know like uh, space atmosphere that is going to be studied by this ve lc payloads next what are the future space exploration program already america launched the artemis 1 program this artemis 1 is program is all about sending humans into the moon surface so artemis program next deep space missions which are which are, which main purpose is to explore the you know like space in terms of exoplanets in terms of you know like uh, other space related phenomena is the one of the main objective of deep space missions then other missions which are exploring the sun are nasa's parker solar probe parker solar probe launched by nasa's okay in the program of what in the program of living with a star program then helios 2 solar probe actually this helios 2 solar probe it launched by the germany when germany was divided into east germany and west germany at that time this solar this helios 2 solar probe it launched by the west germany now the solar orbiter it is the joint project of the european space agency and nasa and some other, other active space craft monitoring the sun they are the advanced composition explorer ace interface region imaging spectrograph iris these are some of the other missions which are actively monitoring the sun now yesterday's video question choose the correct statement about the election commission regarding the election commission which statements are right it was a single member body no, it is a multi-member body. Actually, it is supposed to be. It is. Next. So, the commission consists of one election commissioner and two election commissioners. Right? One plus two. Earlier, it used to be only one. Later, it became a multi-member body in 1989. That is also the right. Next. Today's video question. Which layer of the sun will be the Aditya L1 mission primarily study? So, which layer of the Aditya, which layer of the sun is going to be studied by the Aditya L1 means you know Aditya L1 is the dedicated mission towards the sun in this context try to mention what are the what is the significance of this Aditya L1 and what kind of applications it is going to be provided so this is about today's main question as we reach to the end of this video let us revise what issues we discussed in this video in this video we mainly discussed about Aditya L1 mission payloads when it was launched the details regard about this launch and we also discussed about laggage point importance of the laggage points and we also discussed about some of the other space missions and other you know like solar missions of various countries also we discussed this is the detailed analysis regarding the Aditya L1 mission.